the first thing I would like you to note is that we have been able to reach 2,000 farmers from this particular area and over 200,000 farmers within the East Africa region. This is one of the four dash rubs that we promote within this area. From the research that has already been done by ECRAF, we recommend that a farmer who is rearing one cow should plant 200 fodder shrubs on his farm. The advantage of this fodder shrub is that uh, they are leguminous, they intercrop well with other crops, and they do not fight for nutrients. They are able to fix their own nitrogen, they are rich in protein, so the farmer will be using less money to buy dairy concentrates. They save that and add more money into their pockets by way of adopting this fodder shrub technology. By feeding the dairy cow with 6 kilos of fodder shrub per day increases the milk production with 2 liters per day. Unlike grasses, the fodder shrub retains their protein content even during the dry season which gives the farmer the required protein for the milk production all through the year. From the good success that we achieved initially, this has encouraged us to keep moving and searching more and more. So we have grown from three fodder species and now we are talking about nine species of fodder shrubs. To the resource poor farmer, the fodder shrubs have helped in stabilizing the milk production all through the year. And when the milk production is stabilized, the farmer is able to sell their products at a higher price and especially during the dry season when the other farmers are not able to produce more milk. These farmers that have adopted the fodder shrub technology are able to produce more milk and therefore more money in their pockets. The demand for the fodder shrub is so high and the farmers are developing enterprises out of the sales of this fodder shrub seed and seedlings. Farmers are setting up businesses and they are able to sell the seed across the country. Fodder shrub seed sellers have formed an association that has helped them in training so the farmers will be able to sell their seed outside Kenya. So the fodder shrubs have not only improved the lives of the animals, but it has also impacted positively on the lives of the people by way of improving their nutrition. More children are drinking more milk, thus improving their health. Fodder shrubs are contributing to the social change and especially to the impact to the women's lives. More women are joining our farmer groups and they are getting involved in the seed selling business and seedling business, which gives them more income and therefore giving them the confidence that they require in facing the challenges ahead of them in life. With the fodder shrubs on farm, the farmers have been assured of milk increment in their pro and production, and this has given them other business ideas. For example, right behind me, one of the farmers' group has come up with a milk collection center where they collect milk from their farmer member groups, and they also buy milk from within the community, add value to the milk, and sell it to the end consumer. The Fodder Shrub project is a very good investment because with having invested less than five million dollars has brought about a return of more than 22 million US dollars to the rural economy in Kenya. Thank you for watching. And together with the farmers, we have been proud to show you the impact of the fodder shrub technologies in Kenya. Thank you.